Ethan, Gavin, Tyler, Caitlin, Amaya. History of wolves. For 70 years, wolves, wolves have, were all dead. Filmmakers and, and writers portrayed wolves as big bad killers because like in the Little Red Riding Hood, the wolves, the wolf was, was um, in the grandmother's bed and, and the grandmother wasn't there. In 1973, the Endangered Species Act happened, happened because because to protect animals that were almost all dead. In 2004, the, the first wolf came back to Colorado. And, Wait, and, Colorado? and it was dead laying on the street of, of a car crash and roadkill. When people saw the wolf, they saw them laying, laying, the wolf was laying down right in the road. Fun facts. Wolves have 42 teeth and and we only have 32 teeth. They have 10 more teeth than us. Wow. Up to, they can run up to 40 miles per an hour. And and sometimes, sometimes they, they get tired from running and so they, they, they take a break. break. And they don't actually run up to 40 miles per hour in a day. Um, they usually go up to 5 miles per hour a day. Um, they only can run that fast for um, about one minute. They have blue eyes when they are young, and when they grow up, they have amber eyes and little eyes. And, um... Um, if you see like uh, a dog and it doesn't have blue, um, amber eyes or yellow, then it's not a wolf. Maya, that's not true. Yeah. Paper. Go on. Go to the next. Wait, we did it. Yeah. I know. Go to the next one. When they are wagging the tip of their tail, you better watch out. And you and if if they because if they're wagging their whole tail, then then you don't have to watch out. Only if you if you see them wagging the tip of their tail. Next slide. Pro. They um we want wolves back in Colorado because they also have been changing the ecosystem, like in Wyoming. They have been, um, they've been changing their land. They've been helping the grass. They've been helping the fresh water. Like one time, I want them back in Colorado because when I was up in the mountains and in Steamboat, my mom and dad said, this is yucky water. And so I want them to come here and help the mountains also water. about the trees and we we want the water to the rivers to go into the ocean so we can kind of like have kind of more fresh water in the ocean instead of really salty water that much did you know that wolves make the water deeper
Um, I also want them back in Colorado because we have a lot of elk here and they've been eating the trees and killing the trees. Um, wolves eat elk, which makes the wolves help the trees. And elk then can not eat the trees and kill them. And we also want them back in Colorado because I've never actually seen a wild wolf um, on my way to the Rocky Mountains. So I want them back. The problem with wolves is that um, the food train is breaking because the wolves aren't here and they're an apex creature. Apex means that they're at the top of the food chain. Um, and farmers start killing them if they're back in Colorado, so we're going to fix that. Um, and there's too much help. And um, also with the food chain, um, 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 with the food chain, and because then the wolves are um, a keystone species, uh, and you take a wolf out of the key of keystone, then there will be too much elk, and it will mess up the whole food chain. Watch the video and enjoy and enjoy the video.
a lot to keep them away from livestock. Um, and people don't know why flattery works. It's just because um the red um it like affects their eyes and plays a little trick on them. So um they're scared. And, fire, um, and they built these fences around their life cycle and, you, and their flags down and their wolves avoid any fence because if they jump over it, they, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get caught in that fence so I'm not going in there. Population. Um, on the population, we want wolves back because the elk population is like this, is like this, and the wolf population is like this. So we want them back in Colorado to also help the trees. And everything in the in their path, like leaves, trees, it just knocks over because they keep just eating it. They eat, eat, eat. No kill, because we don't want to kill wolves anymore, so if we have too much in Colorado, we we will just um, kind of put them in, like almost on to the other side of the world or in, in places that where they don't have wolves. For 70 years, wolves were gone, all gone. Not even one wolf was seen. So we want them back in Colorado. Eco-friendly. We are using a night guard and we, we um, are making flattery. So it's, we're gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be a triple. It's gonna it's eco friendly, so in, anybody can use it because there's a camera for people and and it and it's a security camera, so people can see it and leverage their um their phones. It's an app. Um and um our solution it um is. It won't hurt any other animal or the wolf. It's on the next page, I think. Um, so if you, on the next slide, we will show you some more about the night guard. Um, we're actually making something new to add to the night guard. Um, instead of using something already made, we're making something new called the night guard turbo. Flattery. We are gonna put flattery inside of the the, um, it's going to be behind the night guard and we're going to put it and it's going to scare them away too. If, if, and if it's, if, and if it's, um, if they don't, if they ignore the night guard, they, um, are going to, gonna, they're going to be scared of the flattery. Um, the flattery actually, um, what the night guard does is it makes a flashing light, a red light, because they're, like we said before, they are afraid of red. And it also makes sound that wolves probably but probably don't like. And uh, we are mixing a lot of the night guard and, fla and the flag fence, so flag green fence. So then if we combine it all together, it will it will scare away the wolves more. Animal friendly. It is animal friendly because it doesn't it doesn't hurt their ears because it 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 doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't make noise. It flashes at them. It it flashes at any animal, but when yeah, and it goes to People We're gonna make like an app if they buy. It's a free app um, with the um, flag free and all that um, with the night guard 
Turbo, and um, it's an app that comes free, and then, and then um, the Turbo, f um, and then what if if it um, if it blinks at them, um, it will um, it will go to their phone and and it will um buzzer, so then um the person knows that um, some kind of am animal or something um, is it went past the flat reed and all that. Um, the night guard can be used for any animal, so um, it can be used for um, a lot of people, which means anybody can use it. Uh, you, I bet you guys can all use it, because it also turns out it's a security camera. This doesn't really hurt the wolf. It will just warn them that it that oh this this is not my this is not my place to live. I'm going somewhere else. So it will like blink and make a sound. So then and we and we just will put the cameras. So if they see a so if the cameras see a wolf, then um the the things that it will go off. The night guard will go off. Um, so our, our, um, it's going to cost $40 at Target and Walmart. You, um, and we put, um, a website about the night guard, um, so, um, so that we, so that you could see the night guard. The website at the bottom of the page is where we found it out and you can find more information. to Colorado, you will get this half price off and knock your socks off at our invention. And thank you for joining our pack. <laughs> Any questions? The river wasn't gross. Um, we had there was no like fridge with where we get our water here. Like my fr my refrigerator is fine, and down here it's fine water. But when I went up to snowboard, um, the water my mom and dad drunk the water, and it wasn't from a river. We just drunk it, and it it didn't taste very good. Logan. transport them ourselves we're gonna like have these cages cages and we're gonna have these big trucks and we're gonna put them in the ca cages they're gonna be about like as big as that carpet right there so so it has room and then um so then we're gonna transport them to Colorado let them out Um, yeah, like, um, like, you know those tow trucks that usually say, like, 
they have like um, maybe like bread on them and they're selling all that bread in the truck we can make that be a cage and we can put the wolf in the cage Zach, Zach. But what if the wolf keeps like all the black people there's going to be a big red fence that we're going to paint red and, and then um it's going to be like really light so it shines and then it's going to go on their eyes because they hate red jacob how much is it all going to cost you guys? it's going to cost about like thirty thousand. we don't know yet we don't we'll research it